Welcome to the Pro 10 V2 introductory video. This particular system is intended for a higher resolution output than some of the other systems and the proximity of the lenses to each other along the horizon mean that there's going to be a lot of overlap and there's also going to be very predictable seams that you're able to stitch. You can get closer to this system than most of the others. Included in your box for the Pro 10 HD V2 is a felt bag to keep your system safe and clean. The actual Pro 10 HD V2 unit itself. An anodized aluminum mount for rigging to various tripods and monopods. Your audio sync tool. A screwdriver that you can use to release the cameras from the individual holders as well as other tasks, and a pen that also serves as a handy stylus. One of the first things you're going to notice about our new systems is we've moved to a modular design. And that system now encompasses two primary parts. There's an anodized aluminum core that holds the cameras in the correct array, and it has two 3 8 mounting points. It's got a mounting point A, as well as a mounting point B. And we're going to talk about the differences between those. Some of you might remember our 3D printed nylon versions, which had a flexible lid that opened by bending it and placing it back down over the camera, locking it in place. This definitely serves its purpose. But the new modular design allows the unit to be more easily maintained, as well as the transferable ability of these different holders onto the cores means that you can reconfigure the system based on your specific requirements. The individual plastic camera holders that mount to the core all have a hinged lid that just swings completely open and completely closed, locking the camera in place. So removing the individual camera holders from the anodized core is as simple as loosening the screw that holds it to the core, pulling it away from the stem that holds it onto the core itself, grabbing your new camera holder, sliding that onto the stem, replacing the screw, tightening that up. And now your system is completely put together and ready to shoot. So it's time to shoot, and I'm gonna load the system with cameras to give you an idea of what that entails and about how long it takes. All these cameras have been fully charged. The cards have been formatted in CamMan, and we have verified that all the settings are correct. Completely matching the settings, particularly frame rate and resolution. And with that, we are 100% ready to mount our rig shoot some 360 video. Let's talk briefly about the optimal mount position for the Pro 10 V2. It's going to give us the cleanest stitch, easiest post-production workflow after we're done shooting. There are seven cameras on this unit that are positioned along the horizon in the exact same array and the exact same orientation. It gives us a lot of overlap and a lot of predictability as to what camera our subject is in and what's falling into our seams which means that we're gonna be able to clean this up in post and able to get a lot closer to the camera than you can with other systems. Now we're looking at mount point A, our 3 8 mount point at the bottom of the core. By mounting it here, we're able to place our monopod in a seam so that it's gonna clean up whatever from here down is actually in the shot so that it's gonna feel like we're floating in space when we're watching it in the VR goggles. There certainly are times when we only have the option of shooting on a tripod. Whether it's a limitation on what we have available on set or if it's something where it's windy or there are considerations with safety, it's nice to have that option. So this is what mount point B looks like for the Pro 10 V2. You still have the horizontal orientation of the cameras of the seven that are on the horizon, which is great. You're filling the top with one camera and you have two cameras on the bottom, which is helpful because in this seam, you're actually going to be able to overlap a bit on the monopod and clean that up more than you would if there were one camera. 
It's still not the ideal position compared to a 45 mount, but it does work and it will create a very nice stitch. So in the middle of a shoot, we're having a problem with one of the cameras and we need to replace it immediately and get back to what we're doing. You take the screwdriver that's provided to you in the kit and place it under one of the flaps, lift that flap, take your camera out, take your replacement camera, put it in place, lock it down, rig your gear, and let's go. With this many cameras, being able to keep them charged, have access to the memory cards, and have auxiliary power, those types of things are extremely important, and we know that. So that's why you see access to all of the tops of the cameras through the actual camera holders themselves. The Protan HD V2 is capable of very high resolution output. This will create 12,000 by 6,000 pixels for photographs or videos that can be played back in planetarium domes, in theaters. You can also downsample your footage from this system for very clean stitches that can be played back on online 360 video platforms like Little Star, Facebook, YouTube, and our own hosting site, videos.360heroes.com. Also, you can use current head-mounted displays like the Google Cardboard, the Gear VR, the Oculus, and the Vive. So that's a general overview of the features and the intended use of the Pro 10 HD version 2. If you have any questions about how to shoot with this system or technical questions in general, feel free to reach out to us at 360heroes.com. We hope you like the updates we've made to the system, making things a little easier to produce 360 video, and we really look forward to seeing what you create with it.